Uh, we got two questions. I have a Ask a Dad tab on our website, and I told mm. people to go submit questions. We would answer them. We got two. Okay. One of them was a test from me because I want to see if it worked, and it just says Josh is gay. And the second one is from Kyle, and he says, what's the one thing you've had to do as a father that if you knew about when you were single, you wouldn't have gone through with having kids? I don't know if I've ever had one of those moments, but I know Josh has. And for me, it would be that is when you called me and Billy, your oldest, had shit all over the pack and play. And he was had like like hand paint. And he was just like all it was smearing all over. That is enough to make me physically ill. Yeah. So we were we were leaving town to go to Louisiana and I, I had to go pick up my wife and I had to be there at a certain time. And so Billy was a year old and I put him in the pack and play so I could pack up, get everything ready and go. And I had to, like 20 minutes to do it. And so by the time I'm done loading everything up there, I go and I was going to pick him up to change him and then get on the road. And there was just, there was something on his face and I, I had no idea what it was. I was oh. like, oh, what, what is that? And his hands, it was like mud on his hands. And then he had yeah. taken it, you know, the mesh part of the pack and play. Yeah. He had put it all over that. Did and, you throw and, away the pack and play? And, uh, no. What? No, you clean it. You clean it. You just clean it. Hold on. So you, you won't it. use a re a bleached towel at the YMCA, but you're let your your kid play in a pack. Okay. That's not ahead. the same. That's not the same. Okay. He's not gonna put his mouth on that. Anyway. But the pots and pans that he had been hitting together, he was smashing them together, and just shit was flying everywhere. See that part of being a dad sucked. I don't. I've never. Luckily, I've never been through that. Um, so, but that would, if I if I were single, that would horrify me enough to not want to have kids. If you just, you know, because I've changed diapers before and I've got, you know, you know, poop on my hand or something, and that's whatever. You're gonna get poop on your, you're gonna get crap all over your your hands. But you know, I wash, I scrub them real good. But to deal with it everywhere, yeah, I think I would have a panic attack, and I, I don't think I could deal with it. I don't think I could deal with it. Well, you do. You have to deal with Closest it. Closest thing I've came. You don't have a choice. Clo I know. Closest thing I've come to is uh, when Cooper got sick and he was throwing up and I took him and literally I was trying to get him to the bathroom. So I, I picked him up like this because he was full of vomit and I was, as I was turning to go get him out the room, it was spraying like a sprinkler. It was just uh, like hurl everywhere. And my nine-year-old rider is deathly afraid of vomit so he is just i mean screaming and you know i've got a vomit sprinkler uh and it, i had to clean that up and that wasn't fun but so uh, poop and vomit kyle those are those are a couple things yeah i would say the most would be poop and vomit. And never having sex again no i'm projecting all right all right i already have a friend who wants to be a guest on uh on next week's show and uh -huh. he wants to talk about um the dumb dad syndrome how dads are portrayed as just big doofy dumb idiots and how that's not how we are like we're very active in our kids lives i know you, you and i you do you do scouts and sports and all that stuff yeah but you know, on tv and everywhere else the, the dad's just the goofy you know fuck up who and that's yeah. it's bullshit and i it know pisses him off you and i were texting about that whenever yeah. we were watching tv the other day and the kids were outside Subscribe in iTunes or Google Play Music. It will suck less in the future. SoundCloud. Oh, yeah. Totally. Anyway, thanks for watching. Josh, you're a douche.